Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, dear members of the Horasis Visions community, I would like to thank you for taking part in the Horasis US meeting today. It was a long day and the summit is still going on. We convened 750 speakers over more than 150 sessions. Many senior leaders from government and business from the US and elsewhere participated and proposed ideas on how to shape America's and the world's agenda. And we discussed how to overcome the Russian aggression in Ukraine, how to overcome the COVID pandemic, and how to overcome climate change. One of the most moving sessions was held during the early morning hours, a session with eight Ukrainian parliamentarians who joined live from Kiev. A conclusion voiced by many participants was that the war is bringing the West closer together, with the US again being the leader of the free world. Ladies and gentlemen, multilateralism and democracy are the way to go. We have to unite. We have to join hands to tackle the challenges we are facing right now. I am now inviting you to join the last two rounds of sessions. But let me briefly announce that the next Horasis meeting will be held on May 19th, the Horasis Global Meeting. You are all invited to participate and to speak on various panels. The summit's title is Toward a New Area of Peace and Sustainability. The program is a moving target, as you can imagine. We don't know how Ukraine and the world will look like by then. Thank you very much.